Hello there, it's time for another basic science lesson and today we'll be looking at the topic radioactivity. Now the objective of this lesson is to, is to ensure that at the end of this lesson learners are able to describe radioactivity and radiation. They're able to describe radioactive elements given examples. You are able to state the types of radiation and their characteristics and you should be able to state the uses and dangers of radiation. Now moving ahead, what is radioactivity? Now radioactivity is the release of energy from the decay of nuclear of certain kinds of atoms and isotopes. In other words, radioactivity is the release of radiation from an unstable nuclear of radioactive elements. Now during radioactivity, a radioactive atom loses some neutrons and or protons physically changing it into another element and emitting large amounts of energy so as you can see this is a pictorial representation of radioactivity we have a re an unstable nuclear of a radioactive atom and radiation is released from it and because of its instability either particle or energy is released from it so that is radioactivity in a nutshell. So moving along, we are going to look at radioactive elements. What are radioactive elements? A radioactive element is an unstable element that emits particles and energy as it changes into another element. Now we have two types of radioactive elements, natural and artificial radioactive elements. Examples of natural radioactive elements are radium, uranium, plutonium, thorium. Artificial radioactive elements are, are isotopes of stable elements like sulfur which is sulfur 35 iodine 131 cobalt 60 are all examples of radioactive elements now moving along we're going to be looking at the various types of radiation what is radiation then radiation is energy in the form of particles or electromagnetic rays released from radioactive atoms and there are three types we have the alpha radiation we have beta radiation and we have gamma radiation and as you can see here alpha radiation is stopped by thin piece of paper beta radiation is stopped by aluminum plates and gamma radiation is stopped by a lead block this is uh, this describes the penetrating power of these three types of radiation so we'll be looking at this is one of the characteristics we'll be looking at more of the characteristics as we explore each type of radiation yes now we are looking at the three types of radiation and their properties now as i said we have alpha particle we have beta particle and gamma um, which is energy so we're going to look at their characteristics one after the other now starting with the nature alpha particle um, it's a nucleus of helium so this is the sign for alpha particle alpha particle is made up of two protons and two neutrons in the case of beta beta particle is an electron it is an electron and this is the um, this is the uh, representation gamma it's an electromagnetic wave. It, wave it is not a particle it is energy now looking at their charges the charge of alpha particle is, is positive 2. The charge of beta particle is negative 1, while gamma radiation has no charge. Now looking at their masses, the mass of alpha particle is relatively large. Beta particle being an electron is very small, while gamma particle has no mass at all. Looking at their speed, because of the um, large mass of alpha particle, it makes it slow. Beta particle is not really that large, it's very small, so it's fast. And gamma particle, because it has no mass, it moves as, at, its, at the speed of light. Now looking at the ionizing effect, the ionizing effect of alpha particle is strong, the one of beta particle is weak, and the one of gamma is very weak. Now how dangerous are these radiation? Obviously, alpha particle when the source is inside the body it is very dangerous in fact it is most dangerous once it comes in contact with uh, in, with the body bitter particle when the source is outside the body then it is most dangerous 
gamma particle when the source is outside the body it is most dangerous so this is the table that compares alpha beta and, and gamma nuclear radiation now moving along we are going to be looking at the uses of radiation now radiation has its own advantage and uses so let's explore those one by one now for sterilization or sterilizing equipment we use gamma rays because gamma rays can kill bacteria they can be used to sterilize medical equipment and also to preserve or irradiate food and um, when they preserve food they keep bacteria from um, spoiling it altogether now radiation can be used in smoke detectors smoke detectors contain an alpha radiation source smoke reduces the number of available alpha particles so setting off the alarm now another use of radiation is thickness measurement beta particles are used to monitor the thickness of paper or metal during manufacturing so beta particle is used for that checking welds a gamma camera is used to identify faults in welds now when it comes to medical uses gamma rays can be used to destroy cancerous cells so gamma rays are targeted towards cancer cells and can kill cancer cells and also in, in medicine we can use radiation as tracers now tracers can be used to detect blockage in vital human organs to monitor nutrient flow in plants and to detect leaks in pipes so these are the ways by which radiation be useful now moving yes. along finally we're going to be looking at the dangers of radioactivity what are the dangers of radioactivity now radiation will ionize atoms in living cells this can damage them and cause cancer or leukemia in other words radiation can ionize atoms what does it mean to ionize atoms it means that it can change it can remove electrons from an atom thereby damaging it so alpha beta and gamma radiation outside the body beta and gamma are more dangerous as alpha radiation is blocked by the skin now if the source of alpha radiation is inside the body then it can cause the most damage because it is the most ionized so it can cause skin cancer it can cause mutation it can cause series of damage to the body and that's why you know uh, one should be careful when dealing with radiation so in summary we have come to the end of today's lesson in summary radioactivity is the release of energy from the decay of the nuclei of certain kinds of atoms and isotopes a radioactive element is an unstable element that emits particles and energy as it changes into another element the artificial and natural radioactive elements the three most common types of radiation i mean nuclear radiation are alpha particles beta particles and gamma rays radiation is useful for carbon dating sterilization smoke detection determining the thickness of paper and treatment of cancer radiation has adverse effects on the body when an individual is exposed to high levels just to the end so of our lesson for today now i want to go through this assessment to see how much of the lessons that you have learned and i'll see you again in the next class